friends welcome in this class of english literature ba part 3 jnaram vyas university here we have a poem rather another poem from kalrich khubla khan being a romantic poet kalrich here also has great traits of romanticism in this poem kubla khan we 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 will find a sense of remoteness introduction of supernatural and the magics of imagination and here we shall see at how kolrich considers a poet as a god, as a divine being a god like figure who can create by the by his powers of imagination the objects which are real and according to kolrich the poet in a spell of poetic inspiration becomes almost a divine being he is capable of giving such a vivid description of objects that he can make his listeners feel that the objects are actually st- standing before his eyes in a way like god he too is capable of creating objects so he must be one who has fed on honey dew and drunk the milk of paradise his listeners should be aware of his magical powers and close their eyes in awe in his presence so a poet is a magician who can create the imaginary things as real and we are awe struck so this poem kubla khan was composed in 1797 and it is said that poet was in some sort of intoxication and in that intoxication he had a dream a vision that's why the other title of the poem kubla khan or a vision in a dream a fragment and before going into that intoxication or in sleep or some sort of inducing he was he was reading parchas's history so there he found a certain king kubla khan and reading about kubla khan he had a dream in his sleep and that dream he has tried to carve out in the as in the poem titled kubla khan so let us go to the text kubla khan or a vision in a dream a fragment in zenedu did kubla khan a stately pleasure dome decree where alf the sacred river ran through caverns measureless to man down to a sunless sea so twice five miles of fertile ground with walls and towers were girdled round and there were gardens bright and sinuous with sinuous rill rills where blossomed many an incense bearing tree and here were forests ancient as the hills and folding sunny spots of greenery so zenedu also spelled as zendu or zamdu or zaindu is the summer capital of kubla khan and kubla khan is a, a grandson of the great jenghis khan the mongolian founder of the mongolian empire and kubla khan was also a great king and a warrior and he ruled mongolia from 20 from 
1757 to 1794 so he was a great conqueror and also completed the subjugation of china zenedu and kublai khan give us a sense of remoteness in space and time and here is the poem regarding the summer capital of kublai khan zenedu there kublai khan built his own gave orders decree to build a stately pleasure dome so where alps where alp alp is a river and it is given some sacred right uh, sacred place there and where alp the sacred river ran through caverns measureless to man down to a sunless sea and that river used to flow there through caverns and those caverns were measureless to man down to a sunless sea and such was the river to a down to a sunless sea so twice five miles of fertile ground with walls and towers were girdled around and this alp this river used to flow 10 miles of fertile ground twice five miles of fertile ground so let us concentrate on the use of the words he could have easily said that 10 miles of fertile ground but he uses twice five miles of fertile ground with walls and towers were girdled round and he ordered to make that palace in zenedu in the land of 10 miles and that land was very much fertile and was fed by the river alp with walls and towers were girdled round and it was enclosed by the walls and towers and there were gardens bright with sinuous rills and that there they will build a garden with small streams flowing in a windy co- winding course sinuous rills the the winding course the gardens will be bright and fed by the sinuous rills where blossomed many an incense bearing tree and there they will grow and that land will be blooming by the incense bearing trees incense bearing trees like resin or a gum tree which when burnt gives fragrant fumes these trees often grow in asian countries and here were forests ancient as the hills and that land had very ancient forests and hills and those forests were as ancient as the as the uh, hills enfolding sunny spots of greenery and those were enclosed by the bright spots where the land was exposed to the bright rays of the sun and that would be the land and there the, he has ordered to build a stately palace of the king kubla khan so here in this introductory and starting lines we have seen that he has set the theme or the story like introduction of the poem and coleridge is discussing about kubla khan and how he ordered about a palace to be built and what type of land that was where the palace will be built and it is surrounded by the river and the walls and towers and 
there are incense bearing tree and there are beautiful phraseology there is a beautiful phraseology incense bearing tree and pleasure room and such kind of and sanedu is a typical name which all always which is always awe inspiring and remote in place and time so the uh, starting lines are very picturesque so students hope you understand the and you have come to know about the background of the poem and its romantic qualities so let us do further lines in our next next video thank you